Hello, is this Navy recruiting? Do you know what you're really going to ask them? Well, I have an idea. What's my first step? All right, that sounds neat. Or may I help you? Know, you? Part of your job will be learning a good trade. Yeah. And you get regular pay while you're going to school. If you already have your degree, you may qualify for officer training. You'd like to see all the Navy schools before you enlist? <laughs> right. You know how many there are? I've heard over a hundred. Right. Look, I've got an idea. We're working on something I think will help. And uh, at least we'll give you an idea of what we're all about. I've got your number. I'll give you a call back. Hey, that's neato. you shot about the Navy's education and training program last year. Is that ready yet? We're almost there. You know, it took six months just to get the basic and advanced schools in, not to mention the academy and the officer training. Is it something we can use to show recruits? Well, for sure. Beats me how you guys can boil down over 18 hours of film and still get a story out of it. Takes a little doing. You know, you can't show 100 schools in a half hour's time, but you can show enough to indicate the variety of educational and training programs offered by the Navy. Young people who choose careers in the Navy experience an ongoing feeling of accomplishment as new educational opportunities open up to them. Welcome to the United States Navy, gentlemen. Please fall out and form line over here. They arrive quite regularly from all walks of life. What they know about boot camp is something they've heard, often inaccurate and seldom complete but they are correct in assuming that everyone has to go through it. Navy traditions have been passed on from one generation of sailors to the next. Everyone is issued the same uniform, but it is tailored to fit you alone. How you wear it and what you accomplish, this is up to the individual. And always remember to use a 45 degree angle while you're brushing, men. Yes, sir. It takes discipline such as personal discipline and the disciplines of hygiene and health care. A-P-D-T-S. All right. Teamwork. Teamwork is important to us in the Navy. How we as individuals fit into it. What is learned here applies to everything one does in the Navy. Young men and women making the transition to military life learn many of the naval traditions, its customs and courtesies. It's chain of command. The program is designed to tighten muscles. In a remarkably short space of time, young people learn the essential values of thinking and working as a team. During this process, they accomplish things they never thought they were capable of doing, working as part of a Navy team. Discipline and teamwork are not exclusive to the Navy. Every successful organized effort relies upon disciplined teamwork, but nowhere is there stronger reliance upon total team effort than in the Navy. Bring back memories? Oh, you're not just a kid. Graduation from basic training is the first step in upward mobility for many young sailors who qualify for entry-level technical schools. Others go into a special program of apprentice training that prepares them to join the fleet. Sailors reporting to apprentice training school receive about four weeks of intensive instruction. Some are taught deck seamanship and are assigned to the field called seamen. And as firemen, you're also going to be associated with the diesel engine over here. This part up here, you see, is the exhaust. Others are taught about shipboard engineering systems and are assigned to the fireman field. Here you can see the reservoir for your salt water cooling for your exhaust system. Here you can see your I'm glad you cleared that one up, Tom. Most of the callers think I'm talking about the hook and ladder brigade when I bring up the classification of firemen. 
Welcome to Aviation Fundamental School. In this self-paced course, you will the be third group naval, are called airmen, and, and they are taught the fundamentals of aviation ground support. And ground support equipment. Upon completion of this training, young men and women are ready to take their place in the fleet where their training will continue. Many of them develop special interests and abilities from their job duties, and from there apply for further technical training. Ships at sea depend upon highly skilled technicians. The Navy provides the technical schools they need to train them in many career fields. We assume you can operate a flashlight. Now we're going to teach you how it works, why your Aunt Maud's light comes on when she flips the switch. We're going to take you up through basic ACDC theory. We're going to take you on in through spatial circuits, solid state theories, advanced electronics. We're going to do this in about 15 to 16 weeks. Electronic systems have become part of most technologies. And as reliability has increased, so have the uses. First of all, let's hook up the ground here. The importance of electronics to the Navy can be observed at every communications station and in every radar detection and navigational system device. Entry level or Class A schools concentrate on the theories and the principles of the technology. Advanced or Class C schools relate the general knowledge to specific applications. The advanced student learns to analyze, repair, and to calibrate electronic devices found on ships and aircraft and on shore bases. The Navy offers entry-level Class A schools in over 60 occupational specialties. What is more important than the number is the quality of training in all these schools. Okay, educators, gather around uh, the students themselves as they're using the key data entry machines and ask them questions, get to know what's going on here at Data Processing School. The Navy is in the forefront of today's educational technology. Its schools apply the most modern educational methods in course design and instruction. How'd you get those educators to act in your film? They just happened by while we were shooting there. I talked to some of them later and they were really impressed. With the training methods? And the tools? Gentlemen, part of your job as a mechanic is to remove components from an aircraft. You'll need two things to accomplish that. You'll need a book, one that tells you how to do it, and you'll need the tools. Aircraft engines are a giant graduation from high school auto mechanics. The equipment, the training tools, and the instruction are all professional with experienced teams of instructors whose pride is letting what they have learned through the years rub off on sailors coming up the ladder. Great to see you are following the steps in the Elmer C cards. In this phase of your training, you're finally going to get your hands on these aircraft. Most important thing to remember is safety. Pay close attention to that instructor. That's what he's there for. Class, attend, hut, you're dismissed. Before aviation structural mechanics students are given the opportunity of getting their hands on an airplane, they receive two weeks of basic instruction. Riveting and welding are just part of the skills performed daily in the care and maintenance of airframes. Inspections of all stress points is a continuous process in school and on the flight line. Okay, make sure you it is important to know what makes an aircraft fly when it's your responsibility to maintain, repair, and keep Navy aircraft in a constant state of readiness. Okay, gentlemen, I see that we're working on another section of the aircraft. Did Aviation fly? structural mechanics are thoroughly trained professionals in all facets of airframe technologies. Always need to check for safety. Once the aircraft are airborne, the Navy needs qualified men and women to serve as air traffic controllers. Mac, 50660 heavy, roger, emergency, wind calm, clear to land. Emergency, Mac, emergency, emergency, roger, emergency, 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 emergency. The Aircraft Traffic Control Center School at Memphis is second to none. Why'd you turn him this far up north? 
Target radar identified. Navy air traffic control operations are similar to those found in commercial aviation. Approach 305 is going to be... These students practice hundreds of hours before they are certified by the FAA to be entrusted with the control and safety of aircraft in busy air corridors. For whatever it takes to be a reliable air traffic controller, in the Navy, it takes a little bit more. It is important to have skilled technicians operating shipboard power plants. For secure super air protection inlet, one alpha boiler. To provide realistic training, the Navy has built an actual shipboard steam plant into the school. Here, trainees experience situations that would occur on an actual cruise. The process of learning is reinforced by the repeating of difficult problems until the student demonstrates the desired level of proficiency. Okay, go ahead on to your next step. The Navy pioneered nuclear-powered submarines and surface ships years ago. At present, one-third of our combatant ships are nuclear-powered. The size and quality of our nuclear fleet is the measure of tactical superiority. Our nuclear-powered carriers and cruisers have almost unlimited endurance at high speeds. Some carry fuel for 13 years or more of operation and still have room for 90% more aviation fuel and 50% more ammunition space. While you're in nuclear power school, you can expect to work at twice the pace you're accustomed to. You will be pressured here. Your first six months, you'll be taught theory, the academic basis for nuclear propulsion. Your next six months will be at a Navy nuclear prototype facility where you will place that theory in operation. The training for this elite group of technicians all starts here at the nuclear power school in Orlando. Does everybody have a calculator and a pencil? All right, then now begin. The basic nuclear propulsion curriculum ranges from simple math through calculus with the goal of developing analytical skills so that engineering problems can be approached with systematic logic. You're going to see problems of this type a little bit later on in chemistry and on board the ship where you'll be encountering a concentration dilution type setup. So you should be familiar with the ideas involved. All right, so at this point we have... The application of mechanics, electrostatics, and electrodynamics form the foundation upon which the student achieves the required level of competence to safely operate and maintain nuclear propulsion plants. The council will be with you shortly. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. The Navy encourages every man and woman to extend their personal potential at civilian college and technical schools. Now, the City College will be offering classes beginning next month. We should consider enrollment as soon as possible, and I'm anxious to help you. Okay. Also, I feel that it's important that we submit information regarding your accomplishments in the Navy because it's very likely that you will receive additional credit based upon your work in the Navy. Under the Navy campus program, all active duty personnel on their off-duty time may pursue college credits that lead to college certificates and degrees. The Navy pays most of the tuition. The Navy offers the opportunity for qualified selected enlisted personnel to attend community colleges or four-year colleges full-time until they earn their associate or baccalaureate degrees. Personnel selected for the bachelor's degree program must have prior college credit to permit the completion of degree requirements in two years. Baccalaureate graduates can become commissioned officers. The Navy also takes college to sea. A program called PACE literally goes to sea, bringing college courses to you wherever you go in the world and making your college goals closer to reality. What would real language create? Thought. Make people think. Thought. Thought. Understand. And what else? Unity. Clarity. Say, isn't that the boost program they operate in San Diego? You know your Navy schools, Chief. 420 and 660. Boost is a program designed to fill in the educational gaps of those who have demonstrated leadership potential, but do not possess sufficient academic background for entry into officer education programs. 60 degrees. 
But what will happen if we add salt? The BOOST program provides academic preparation for those interested in pursuing a college education through the Naval Academy or the Naval Reserve Officer Training Corps program. Another source of education is the Naval Academy Prep School at Newport, Rhode Island. Laser light is highly collimated. Beaming it on the moon, 240,000 miles away, and it only spreads out one meter in diameter. This program enables Navy enlisted personnel to prepare for admission to the Naval Academy. The United States Naval Academy is famous for its tradition and for its glamour. For its many fine athletic programs, its great teams, and its heroes. They're going to be producing the work, which is going to be the integral of the power. The Academy provides a scholarly atmosphere. The outstanding credentials of its faculty and student body rank the Academy as one of the best educational institutions in America. Academy midshipmen have available to them the most modern learning tools. The systems and the material both give every opportunity to the student. Just as the Academy is engineered to provide academic excellence in scientific education, so is it geared to offer education and research opportunities in the humanities. So the power of politics theory then deals with the Studies of world culture, philosophy, psychology, and human behavior. The naval officer must be more than trained to the sea. The fact that they don't take any political and economic factors into their decision. Could you hear with this navigation problem? Thus, the Academy offers a well-balanced and complete education. In addition to the Naval Academy, the Navy offers scholarships to outstanding high school graduates at more than 50 colleges and universities. What does a good manager mean to your town? A good manager has to take the three resources we've been talking about and combine them. With options of two, three, or four-year Navy scholarships, motivated students earn Navy or Marine officer commissions while they study for their college degrees. Without you as good managers, we're just spinning our wheels. Summers between academic years provide a great change of pace, with training on regular Navy ships and bases. Old Island, three, two, three. When at sea, we have to make sure that our nautical talks are properly prepared. In that comes our team review. The now, Naval Reserve Officers Training Corps the NROTC provides the largest percentage of naval officers. But then again, it's not just the number, it's the quality of men and women. For they bring with them the knowledge and culture of over 50 different educational institutions, tapping fresh wells of leadership from the grassroots of our nation. And the office upon which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, John. Thank Welcome you, sir. aboard. Thank you very much. Hey, morning, Charles. Hey, good hey, afternoon, John. How you today? You got something for us? There you go. Hey, Blakey, there you go. Hey, did you get it? Yep, nice here day. it is. See you later, Charlie. Thanks. Everything you want to know about OCS in this one little booklet. That's for me. The Navy Officer Candidate School is located in Newport, Rhode Island. How about base? College graduates come here for special training prior right. to being base. commissioned Naval officers. Okay, to your next station. In previous classes, we discussed uh, various naval heroes in U.S. naval history. The goal of this training is the development of professional skills in management, leadership, naval engineering, and weapons systems. Life aboard ship. We to have accomplish this goal, motivated officer candidates learn at an accelerated pace, with emphasis on hard work to fulfill the demands of a rigorous education and training program. The results of this program is the development of confident, professional individuals who are ready to meet the challenges faced by young naval officers.
OCS looks great, but I want to fly. Well, that's why they sent along this brochure on Aviation Officer Candidate School. College graduates at Aviation Officer Candidate School at Pensacola, Florida, are prepared to fly some of the world's finest aircraft under the most demanding flight conditions. Navy wings are made of gold. Navy wings are made of gold. Stay closed up, is that clear? Yes, sir! Similar to OCS, these Aviation Officer Candidates undergo a demanding and vigorous curriculum. Upon completion of this training and commissioning as ensign, they join the recently graduated Naval Academy and NROTC ensigns and commence flight training. Discharge the duties of office, duties of office. on which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. On the MBS-1 Aviation Academy Flight training begins in ground school with the study of aeronautics, followed by experience in flight simulators. Okay, today's your first hop, and the cockpit here is going to actually simulate what you're going to see in the airplane. So I'm going to go up now and program your hop and monitor from the console. So you stay on top of it, okay? All right, thank you. Every student pilot logs hundreds of hours of flight time in simulators experiencing everything that can possibly occur on a mission without ever leaving the ground. Nothing happens in flight that cannot be duplicated right in the simulator. The computer can make an engine cough or die, create a severe drop in altitude, put you into a spin that you feel all the way down. Everything you do from takeoff to landing is recorded on the computer. After the mission, mistakes are analyzed and proper procedures are reinforced. Byron, if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started with the pre-start checklist. Training and preparation for every contingency is essential to the program. Many hours are spent with the flight instructor in actual flight training. Finally, the day you've looked forward to arrives, your first solo flight. With graduation, you've earned the coveted Navy Wings of Gold. At the Surface Warfare Officer School, newly commissioned line officers receive advanced training prior to their reporting aboard their first ship. Who on board your ship has responsibilities in the area of safety? Here, young officers learn to apply basic skills developed in their early training, which prepares them for their role aboard a modern Navy ship. Exactly. The division officer has a set responsibility, but everyone aboard the ship has a responsibility, from the commanding officer through the seamen on board. Very well. We're going to have a close situation, sir. Captain? Ship combat simulators make it possible for junior line officers to receive realistic operational experience. Yes, sir. Make control stand by for flank bell. The opportunity to act and react many times over to tactical situations exactly as if they were at sea under combat conditions. Sunk Alpha Bears. 250, 500 yards. Port lookout reports a whistle signal board of our beam on the port side. Very well. Post made of the watch. Now, six to our blast on a ship's whistle. All right, sir. <laughs> 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 the 
The Navy's postgraduate school at Monterey, California, is a distinguished seed of higher learning and research. Here, in this totally dedicated academic environment, a staff of highly regarded scientists and scholars provide advanced education for naval officers pursuing masters and doctoral degrees in management. Pete, what's the uh, consideration when you have only O&M or expense type dollars? With expense dollars, uh, you'd only be able to lease the item as opposed to investment dollars where you could actually buy it. Set the maximum load level at 5,000 pounds. Further studies in many scientific technologies lead to masters and doctorate degrees within their disciplines. Be it resolved that the Academic Council recommended the Superintendent, Lieutenant Commander Donald B. Hinsman, for the degree Doctor of Philosophy. The Naval War College at Newport, Rhode Island has a worldwide reputation as a center of strategic policy development. Students include senior United States and allied military officers and United States government officials. Here, the great majority of students possess both advanced degrees and a wide range of experience. Now, with the Soviet surface force departing from Aden in this particular tactical situation, there's some possibility that they may choose to exploit this weather cover to conceal either their numbers or their intent. Here, too, the military professional is given the opportunity to interact with civilian professionals, both national and international. More research than we've given it thus far. Commence land fleet war game number 31. Throughout history, education has been the vehicle for those who would master the sea and the sky. TV command, this is table 26. What you are seeing now, and all that you have seen before, is a small sampling of the Navy's commitment to education and training. Advanced technology and an understanding of its applications to naval operations in the defense of our nation requires thoroughly educated and trained personnel whose dedication is to keep the United States Navy the finest in the world. What do you think, Chief? Tom, you said it all. Everything but one thing. Now we put it all together. What makes it work? Training without application, just like education without purpose, can be wasted. The Navy has traditionally created the linkage between learning and doing. The training and educational processes are reinforced when they're put to work and practiced, alternating first with learning and then the doing. The opportunity to learn more is an open option to every person in the Navy and it assures upward mobility to both enlisted and officer personnel. It is a unique system, a proven system, a system that works.